So you want to create a third person character in Copper Queue? I'm gonna show you how to create your third person character uh, full step by step guys so you need to watch this video till the end otherwise you will um, miss some important steps okay so this is the character I'm going to use if you don't have a character you need to go to mixer mode it's online you can create an account and you can download any character you want okay so this is all the FBX files the animations I'm just showing you guys before I import it, I need to go to uh, Blender so that I can um, put all of the, these animations, individual animations within the character. Okay, because at the moment the character is only in a T pose. I've downloaded the T pose with skin and all the animations without skin. If you want to watch the tutorial video, you can go to my channel and how I download this character. Okay. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to uh, uh, create a third person character in Copper Cube. So I'm importing uh, the FBX files. I need to find the directory where the character is saved. Okay, if you don't know where the directory is, guys, uh, just go to, here's a shortcut here by Blender, as you can see. Okay, there's player. So this is the player character and there is the directory Okay, in the search bar Right, so I need to first import the T-Pose Because the T-Pose has the skin on it And then I'm gonna import idle Walk and run Just the basic animations, okay Let's go with t pose. I'm going to import the t pose. There won't be any textures on this character, as you can see. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put it on texture, the texture editor. Let me just open this. Okay, let's put it on texture, as you can see. I'm gonna put it on materials, and there's the materials because it's got all the data already saved on the materials. I'm gonna go to the lamp. And I'm gonna use Hemi so I can see a little bit more clearly. Okay, as you can see, there is the character imported nicely. The armature, choose the armature. Okay, inspect your character, see that everything is looking nice, nothing is transparent or missing. And if you are satisfied, you can start importing your animations on top of this character. Okay, this is a bonus, guys. I'm also showing you how to make multiple animations in within one character okay how to set it up uh, we need to go to the dope sheet gonna go to action editor okay and here at the bottom okay let's just import the fbx file first okay i'm gonna go with idle all right there's your idle armature Okay, go to the bottom and just rename it to idle. We're not gonna use that name, mixamo.com. Okay, put it on idle, press enter. Now delete the armature. Now this the, the animation is blended with the okay. We need to rename the, the T pose to T pose. We don't get confused in Copper Cube in the animation editor. Okay. So that is your first, I'm going to show you, there's the idle, as you can see. You don't need the armature since we already have the armature with the skin. We just delete the armature and keep the animation frames. Uh, you can go back and import the walk animation. It's FBX. Uh, walk, there you go. Import, there's the armature. Okay, I'm going to name it. Sorry, I'm gonna delete. Okay, after you rename it, just delete it. Let's check if it's there. There's the walk. I'm sorry for that, guys. My um, recorder suddenly just paused and played again, so that part is missing, but 
it it's the same renaming your 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 um your animations okay so let me just put the view in the center selection and then i'm going to import the last animation okay it is running like i said i'm just gonna use the three basic animations for this tutorial to show you guys how to create a third person uh, character in copper cube 6.6 .6. you can use any version of copper cube it doesn't matter falls in the same category okay so there you have all your animations there's the running as you can see there let's go to the timeline not top sheet timeline let me just rename this to player before I do anything okay enter you don't have to rename it if you don't want to but I like to organize everything okay yeah you can see all the animation frames within the top sheet okay I'm gonna go to timeline now and I'm just gonna pl press play not record just press play so you can watch your animations I'm gonna make this timeline a bit shorter as you can see there's the running animation let's make it shorter like 65 okay you don't wanna go too short because some of the animations may go above 40 or so or 20 you know so just keep it like a, a, a reasonable length let's go back to dope sheet and now I'm gonna press on the animations and you're gonna see they're gonna play out as you can see there before you save your character just check your animations that's the T-pose with no animation and that will be the walking animation okay so we have all three animations in one character now let's just export as xpf in player file and I'm gonna name it all okay so, so that I know that this is all the animations within this character you can rename you can rename it which whatever you want to okay just don't get confused all right I'm gonna go and just let me just stop this because it's taking some of my graphics slowing down my PC okay here's the scene I uh, set up in copper cube you can use the default scene if you want to okay I just want I'm gonna import as animated skin so let's import the character player all no? open let's wait for the character to import it may take some time depending on your character the size of your character if he's got a lot of clothes on you know lots of things attached to him weapons and stuff it will take some time okay there's the character he's quite big but I'm gonna scale him down let me just adjust my camera so I can have a, a much clear view of, of the character okay guys my name is 3 ds Tutorials I'm in Copper Q 6.6 and I'm showing you how to create a third person character full setup okay let me just scale him down if this video is helpful so far smack that like button if it's your first time subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one ring the bell notification icon so I can notify you whenever I upload more videos ok um, I'm gonna go to hierarchy attributes position and I'm gonna put it on zero ok now it's flat on the surface and we can work, work with the character but um, I'm gonna go to the cube let me just get the cube out of the way I'm gonna go back to the hierarchy again guys we need to go back to the hierarchy and we need to put some material on this character so we can see the character okay click on animated the character go to mesh I'm gonna rename him also to player so that I don't get confused like I said I'm gonna name him player stay on the player go to materials the slot is empty now you need to add a slot 
ok, there you go, just click the icon ok, there you go, now you can see your materials, all the materials is imported nicely like I said guys, please check your model, if everything is looking good before you proceed to the next step ok um, as you can see there your character, now we need to um, I um, just want to show you, you can put some um, shaders on this character there's some shaders, transparency and, uh, you can normal maps also normal mapping but I'm gonna leave him on that this is dynamic, if you leave it on dynamic as you can see there's no light source really in this uh, engine in this port so there's no reflection of any light falling on him I'm gonna go to the animation editor and I'm just gonna clean up here as you can see that armature the word armature I'm gonna remove it from the animation okay let's just take away this armature there you go can it can just okay I'm gonna delete the post the post minus just take it away and close it up okay finish with that one gonna go back to attributes player click on the player it's going on here click on the player there you go go to all and put it on idle okay now your player will play out the idle animation because you selected the idle as default now for the this is the juicy part guys is uh, to animate your character within this engine in copper cube 6.6 .6. you can use any versions okay I'm going to create a camera simple camera is not gonna work because there's no behaviors okay create a simple camera without any behaviors first person shooter camera creates a horizontal movement camera controlled by a mouse or a keyboard as known for first person shooter games okay we're gonna go with the third person camera creates a third person view style co controller camera which follows a user controlled object okay I'm gonna use that one because we wanna follow the character from a certain distance certain view ok there is the camera just choose player link to player let me just I'm gonna go to the hierarchy attributes position 0 gonna move him to the back move him up ok we don't have a um, let me see go to third person behavior third person camera style controller go to target height and I'm gonna put it on minus 40 Okay, that's just above the head. I don't want to look in the the character's back backside. I want to look in front of him also. I'm gonna go to publish on the head by Windows EXE 32 but color depth is fine. Full screen. Yeah. Yes, let's put it on full screen. Vertical synchronization let's have a look ah, this is the WebGL WebGL format ok I'm not gonna go for WebGL format but as you can see there your character is standing um, okay, let's go to publishing let's put it on publish as windows.exe and have a play there is the character if you are satisfied with the view the height you can leave it as such but I'm gonna go up and down and closer okay and I'm gonna put the target height on 35 minus 35 that should be suffice let's have a look let's play camera player uh, let's put in the behaviors okay I'm gonna put in behavior um, game behavior object or person controlled by keyboard that is what we want right leave this so long I'm just gonna put the stand animation in on idle 
Walk will be walk and run will be running. Okay, running in a motion. Okay, that is now out of the way. Okay, we can have a look if the character is walking. Okay, now it's controlled by the keyboard. As you can see, guys, your character is walking. There's your first animation. It's playing out the first animation, but the character is go is is it can't collide with anything because we need a collider. We need to attach a collider to this character. Okay, to interact with other items in your uh, a viewport in your scene. Just put up the camera a little. Okay, so now we need to go to behaviors, the hierarchy. Gonna go to behaviors. Okay, add a collide when moved. Okay, I'm gonna just um, minus player. Sorry, I was on the camera. Add collide when moved. You will see it at the bottom. It's quite low. I'm gonna just move it up. Minus 15. Should bring it up. There you go. You can see it there between the legs of the character. There's a, a spear. That is the collider, guys. Okay. That is the thing that's going to uh, interact with everything within the within your game. Okay. Because a skin mess, it has no value. There's no. Uh, 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 it's transparent, it's soft, you know. It's not a rigid body. Okay, I'm just gonna position this. I think it is too high. Let's put it on 14. Okay, the size. Put it on 14 in the Y axis. Uh, uh, that is too high. That is too high. That is now too low. So 15 on the Y axis. Okay, press enter. So the camera is now positioned. The player is positioned and let's look how it's gonna play out. He needs to fall from this platform. There you can see he's walking over the cube now, not through the cube. And it's gonna fall off this platform as soon as I leave this platform. Then we know it works. There you go. So the collider is in place. Um, the next setup is going to be. I want to show you guys. As you walk, if you stop, as you can see, the it's still looping. The walking animation. I want the character to go into an idle animation as soon as I lift the key. As soon as I stop, okay. I'm gonna press on the play in the hierarchy. I'm gonna go to attributes to behaviors. Um, when a key is pressed, do something. We're gonna use key. You need to choose a key. We're gonna use the W key, it's a default key for any character or movement of a character in your game. I'm gonna go for action, set animation of an animated C note, choose the C note. And I'm gonna go to player. Choose the player, okay. Now by all just choose uh, walk and put it on loop. We want it to loop when we press the button. Okay. Now we have to choose another behavior and we're gonna go for when a key is pressed. Okay, W key. This time when the key is lifted. Lift up. Okay. You're gonna choose your action and it's gonna be set animation of an animated C note choose the C note in your hierarchy select and player choose player okay we're gonna loop it and we're gonna go with idle so when the button is left it's gonna go to an idle animation let's see if it works guys let's play let's see how it works out okay let's walk stop and it needs to go to idle. There you go. Okay. It's blending in quite nicely as you can see. Oops, there it falls down. But it works. So the next step is I wanna show you when you walk to the back, it's gonna go to a loop again. 
you see there so we need to add another behavior and action when we press a key when a key is pressed okay let's go to the hierarchy behaviors player press add when key is pressed choose your key it's gonna be s as default okay go to your action set animated of an animated animation of an animated c node player press ok ok gonna choose walk again ok because we're going to walk like reverse loop it we're gonna put it on loop ok now we need, we need to choose another behavior same behavior when key is pressed this time when key is left ok alright add behavior when key is pressed when key is left the S key when left action set animation of an animated C note choose the C note it's gonna be player ok and it's gonna go to idle loop ok and see how it plays out ok we're gonna walk to the front stop idle back idle front idle back idle there you go guys it works that's your two animations ok I mean that is your uh, walking animation ok walking to the front walking to the back falling into an idle animation when you lift your finger let me just resize this platform so we can walk much better we have a more a bigger space to walk on that you guys can see ok as you can see there is stopping moving to the back this is a subscriber request one of the subscribers asked me if I can show him how to import a third person character or create a third person character in copper cube ok so um, I'm busy I was busy um, adding the walk animation that is your first animation the next animation is going to be the running animation ok I'm gonna use the shift key let's go with the shift key ok yes let's use shift default when key is pressed go for the action set animation of an animated C node choose the C node it's going to be player ok and we're gonna choose the running animation loop it ok again behavior when key is pressed do something choose your key it's going to be shift key when left do uh, action choose your action it's going to be set animation of an animated C node select your C node player ok select idle idle sorry idle and loop it and then ok now let's see how it works out guys this is your last animation guys if this works then you have a full animated third person character there you see he's running ok he's walking he's stopping I went going into an idle so everything is nice there you go he's running guys thank you for watching this video if this video was helpful please smack that like button if it's your first time here subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell icon so I can notify you when I upload more videos like this one the next video I'm going to add a weapon to this character or if you want you can leave a comment in the comment box below if you don't know how to create a JSON script a JS script for the character to jump because why you can't just jump in copper cube with the character you need to create a script ok so in that order it's going to be a very long tutorial that one but I will be able to show you how to do that but you need to leave a comment in the comment box if you don't know how to create a script so that your character can jump uh, let's just I'm gonna change the speed of the character the rotation 
So yeah, there you go. That is a much better speed wa walking movement, the running. Okay. There's your third person character, guys. My name is 3D Master Tutorials, and I hope this this video was helpful. I hope to see you in the next one. Copper Cube 6.6. .6.